Now, Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. Well, Grace, I couldn't have asked for a better weekend. It was a fun time just to get outside, enjoy the sunshine, and just yeah. really take in that beautiful weather. It really was nice. Now, today we have the same temperatures, in fact, significantly warmer, but we don't have a whole lot of sunshine. Yeah. Even still, though, I would recommend getting outside. Take a look right now at what you're feeling as you head up. Head out the door first thing this morning. Temperatures, they're really quite warm. These are about where our high temperatures for the day should be, but it's just past 5 a.m. and we're already reaching this mark. So you're only going to need the lightest jacket as you head out the door. We're at 55 degrees in the Rocket City, 58 in Decatur, and the same over in Haleyville. So just grab a very, very light jacket this morning. However, dress in layers because by the time we head to a little bit later on today, it's going to be full on short sleeve t-shirt weather. You won't want any jacket at all. We are completely dry from rain at 516 on 31 triple Doppler. One or two of us will see some showers as we head later through the day. However, the vast majority will stay dry. Now, first thing this morning, we are muggy, feeling a bit humid early in the morning, right before the sun rises and shortly thereafter. That's the most humid part of the day. So that's what we're feeling. We also have patchy yet very dense fog, meaning you could imp impact patches of fog all multiple times throughout your morning commute. So leave a little bit of extra time so you're not late to work on this Monday. By Tuesday, I have put us in a caution day on the three-day threat tracker ahead of a full day of rain and storms in the area. I'll walk you through that in just a minute. As we head through the rest of the afternoon and into this evening, we'll keep a whole lot of cloud cover, but that won't keep us from getting very warm. By the time we head to noon, temperatures are near 70 degrees, and then shortly thereafter, we'll reach to the mid-70s for our high temperature. Even though we'll be cloudy, you're going to want to still spend a as much time today outside as possible because the rest of this week is really quite rainy. Now one or two of us will see some spotty rain showers as we head later through this evening. However, it really is only one or two of us. The vast majority of the Tennessee Valley will remain dry and even those who do see some of those spots of rain around dinner time, they'll be there for just a few minutes and then gone. However, tomorrow, that's a completely different story. Take a look at what we're seeing at 730 on your Tuesday morning. This is just as you're headed to school and to work. Spotty showers all across North Alabama and Southern Tennessee. Again, not all of us seeing rain at this point, but those who are, are seeing quite heavy rain. The rain just continues to become more widespread, and by lunch, almost all of us have a chance for some rain. By the time we head to 4 o'clock, I'm tracking a cold front that's pushing through the valley, and it's making its way through southern Tennessee and the shoals right at that time. That means if you live west of the corridor as you're commuting home from work on Tuesday, you'll be impacting torrential rain and very gusty wind. Around 7.30, that cold front line is crossing over I-65 itself and into Huntsville, and then it continues to track east throughout the rest of the night. So we're talking Talking about spotty showers in the morning and afternoon and then a whole lot of rain and gusty wind in the evening. It doesn't get fully out of our way until the wee hours of the morning on Wednesday. So just to sum it all up, we're talking about a high temperature on Tuesday of 66. That's about eight degrees cooler than we're going to be today. Thanks to that cold front. We have morning and afternoon scattered rain, but then Tuesday evening is a full on washout with thunderstorms and torrential rain. Now this system is not severe. The, the area that looks severe stays near New Orleans. However, continue to check back in with us throughout the day today so that you get the most updated radar outlook should anything change. We are in a level one drought in North Alabama and up to a level three severe drought in southern Tennessee. But the good news is all that rain could be bringing us anywhere from one to two inches of accumulation and that will really help out our drought conditions. By the time we get to Wednesday afternoon, conditions are mostly dry. We have another full on washout on Friday and then on Sunday, daylight saving time starts and we spring forward. Well, a lot of rain, but we definitely need it. So. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll be good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.